Welcome back to Slay the Princess. Holy crap. <laughs> oh man, we haven't played in so long. All right. Here goes. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Hmm. I imagine I've got quite a new subscriber since I played this, so... We'll, we'll, we'll live it up a bit. Sweet. Um... Hmm. Do I get some sort of reward for doing this? Yes, but you'll have to slay her before you get it. Can someone else do this? Unfortunately, you're the only one who can pull this off. I don't make the rules. I wish I did, but I don't. Can you tell me my prize? What my prize is? It's a secret, but I think you'll like it. It's a special reward, just for you. And whatever you think it <laughs> oh, might be, goody. I can promise you it's going to be even better than your wildest imagination. A pony? <gasps> T two ponies? Oh. Well, let's do it. Oh, okay. Thanks for telling me what to do. Don't mention it. It's all part of the job. <laughs> all right, sure. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. We're not gonna go through with this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. You're not wrong, voice of the hero. Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. We've already done your side though, and it was a very happy ending until it was very, very sad. Let's go to the cabin. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Sorry, my, my cat's climbing all over the microphone. Hey, Tippy. Hi. Oh, he's hungry. Oh, uh, one second. All right, where were we? Let's take that blade. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. True. Let's go. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Uh, this is about as neutral as it gets, actually. Her voice carries up the stairs. Who's there? Oh, you seem a lot less naive than when I first entered. She sounds dangerous. Yeah. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. She sounds like Ash from Overwatch. Who's there? Don't let it fool you. It's all ah, part of the manipulation. Get in there! Uh, continue down the stairs. Um, I'm here to kill you. I think? No, I'm sure. I'm not gonna say I think. I'm just gonna go down the stairs. Hi. Don't be a stranger. It's been so long since I've had any visitors. Come on down. All right. You walk down the stairs 
and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? Focus on the task at hand. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? Yes, you caught me. I'm here to slay you. That isn't a good idea. Just drop the knife, and maybe the two of us can talk things out. She's right, we shouldn't. We should just drop the blade. Don't you dare. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster, but killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. <sighs> Let's listen to the hero. All right. The blade tumbles out of your trembling hands and drops to the floor with an unceremonious clang. Thank you. Maybe now we can just talk. Sure. Against your better judgment, you step forward to speak with the princess face to face. Unarmed. We'll be fine. I don't know what you're hoping to accomplish here, but I can assure you there's no reasoning with her. <sighs> Just make sure you don't forget about the blade on the floor. You're going to need it. So here we are. What an awkward start to a relationship. Yeah, not the best. It's pretty awkward. I know. I just said that. Now why are you here to kill me? Hmm. I've been told things, but I'm not sure what to believe. Believe me. And do you think asking me what to believe is going to suddenly make everything crystal clear? Let's not pretend that's going to happen. As far as you're concerned, and as far as they're concerned, I'm going to say whatever I have to to get out of here. That's just the dynamic of our situation. Do you know why I'm here to kill you? Do you? I know what I've been told, but whether or not I believe it is a different matter. So, you're not going to share? How pointless. If you want to talk, I'll talk. But this isn't talking. How long have you been down here? Too long. Note the lack of detail. You can't trust her. What's your name? She hesitates before answering. You can address me as your royal highness, or her majesty. Any honorific should do, really. Again, she offers no specifics. No matter how hard you try, you'll never get a straight answer out of her. <sighs> okay, we've talked enough. Oh, have you decided what to do with me? You know why you're here. Hmm. <laughs> We've tried to get her out before, and it has worked. So let's try again. I'm getting you out of here. Oh, you have to be kidding me. Yes, again. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. They're large and heavy, far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. I'm guessing you don't have the key. Don't bite your hand off like before. Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. They wouldn't have just left the key to her chains somewhere in the cabin. Hmm. I'm gonna check upstairs. Maybe there's a key up there. I'll be here. You attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. 
you hear the click of a lock sliding into place. Who's on the other side? Is someone else here? Your shouts and pleas are met with Let silence. Me out of here. You're here to slay the princess, and you won't leave until the task is done. Try the door. You try the door, but it's locked from the outside. I'll repeat myself once again. You're here to slay the princess, and you won't leave until the task is done. Let's press tab and see what happens. Oh, nothing. Okay. <laughs> Easier for whom? Easier for everyone. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? The knife. Pick it up and cut me out of here. You won't like what happens if you do that. Save. Against your better judgment, you place the blade against the princess's oh yeah, arm, just above the massive, <laughs> unyielding awesome. chain. You cut into her flesh. The blade is sharp and you make quick work of it. Before long, you're able to crack through bone, and she pulls the bleeding stub of her arm through the iron gauntlet. She didn't so much as utter a sound. Free from her bindings, the princess turns to face you, her fierce gaze meeting your eye. How is she so composed after losing an arm? It's like she isn't even bothered by it. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. No. We won't have any of that. The stakes are too high. You can't just let her escape into the world. No, I just can't let her escape into the world. As the princess approaches the bottom no, stair, your body this. steps forward and Not raises again. the blade. I don't have control Wait, over my body. This isn't fair. You so she, oops, she kills me. I didn't mean to do that. Watch me. No, warn her. Princess. Stop that. I thought this was a little too easy. Your body lunges forward to sink the blade into her back, but the princess swiftly moves out of the way before you can connect. Stop it! Stop resisting me! I am trying to get you out of here alive! Never! The blade. Move. The. Blade. I've really gone <laughs> full reverse on this whole idea with You're killing doing the your princess. best to help me, aren't you? I can see the conflict in your eyes. I'll make this quick. Okay. She steps forward and pries the blade from your rigid hands. <laughs> Maybe I'll see you in another life. Sure. And then she slits your throat with an almost clinical ease. Ta-ta! Her face remains unchanged as she watches you collapse to the ground, blood flowing from your butchered neck. This is the end, isn't it? Nope. Far I'm afraid it. it is. Everything goes dark, and you die. Oh, we'll I hope back. it was worth it. The Prisoner. Chapter 2. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Let's just go to the cabin. A warning before you go any further. She will lie. She will cheat. Yes, yes, don't believe a word she says. Just go in, take the knife, and do what you're supposed to. Wink. Wink. Did you just say wink out loud? <laughs> no, I didn't. Wink. Wink. Just ignore this clown and focus on the princess. Well, I was a bit of a skeptic for that first part, so makes sense that now I have that voice. The interior of the Ooh. cabin is less a cozy woodland retreat and more like a dungeon. A few pathetic wisps like of starlight attempt to illuminate dungeon. the cold, uninviting stone walls, and thick, wrought iron bars barricade the windows, reminding anyone who enters that this is a prison. The only furniture of note is an iron table, bolted to the floor, a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. A mirror. You Maybe walk up to the wall next to the basement. Maybe it'll stay there this it's time. A, 
there isn't much to see here. What are you talking about? This isn't a wall. It's a mirror. Or at least it'll be a mirror once we wipe off that layer of grime. It'll disappear! Ugh. Reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. But there was a mirror a second ago, and now it's gone. If he doesn't want us to know about it, it must be important. We should keep our eyes peeled. Maybe it'll be back. So, uh, we're on her side, so let's not I'm afraid I'm going to insist we take the blade. Uh, we're in a dangerous situation, and I'm not letting us go down there without a weapon. Okay. Are you sure? What if she... I don't know... Turns it against us? Which I'm bringing up in a purely hypothetical manner. I'm so wishy-washy today. Yes. Uh, turns it against you? She's a prisoner here. She'll only be able to turn it against you if you give it to her. Which you won't be doing because she's an existential threat to the entire world. Okay. I'm trusting you. Uh, what's the big idea? <laughs> Why don't I get a say? Normally, yeah, but not about this. Call it a reflex. We take the knife as we go. Part of me wanted to take the knife at first, but I don't know. Wonderful. Let's listen to this guy. Exactly that. Not that we have Sweeping a the knife from the table before proceeding to the basement. Don't worry about it. We have a knife, so what? It's not like we have to use it. No, you don't have to do anything, but you do well to use it regardless. <sighs> Moving on. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing an old stone staircase. A few sputtering torches attempt to vaguely illuminate your path, dancing across glimmering patches of slimy moss on the stone steps. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Her voice, harsh but controlled, carries up the stairs. Is that a visitor I hear? Please, come downstairs. It's been a while since I've had company. I wonder what visitors she could be referring to. Were we not the first? You walk down the stairs and lock eyes Whoa. with the princess. She looks up at you, the heavy collar around her neck clanking loudly as she moves the chains binding both her wrists to the far wall, joining the metallic chorus as she adjusts her hands in her lap. Uh, you've never had the neck chain before. Should we be worried about the one around her neck? Yeah, I don't know. Why would you be worried about her restraints? If anything, they'll make your job easier. Have you noticed the empty chain on the wall? Odd that in a place where everything seems to serve a distinct purpose, she had a tail? there would be something so obviously useless. What an interesting development. Why don't you have a seat? The two of us should chat before you bury that thing in my heart. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm not sure I need to do much of anything. Do you see how locked up she is? I'm just going to leave her here. Oh, let's sit with her. You step towards the princess. Nice but she stops you before you get too close, holding up one shackled hand. There is fine. I'd prefer we keep some distance until we've sorted this out. Yes. That's reasonable. We do have a weapon. Sure. Might as well put her at ease. Alright. Sit where you're told to sit. You do as she asks and sit on the floor. Still a good distance away from her. Thank you. Now, what are your intentions for me? Let's see. The other chain on the wall. My intentions, what do you mean? Yes, your intentions. You have a knife. What are you going to do with it? Why are you here? There isn't a keyhole in these shackles, so I'm afraid my only way out is surgical removal. Is she forgetting about the shackle on her neck? Or does she think she'd survive a beheading? Ugh. You're right. Maybe she's delusional. All the more reason not to trust her. No. Unless she really could survive. Probably. Though I suppose you could just be here to kill me. But I don't think that's in either of our best interests. Ugh. Uh, what happened after I died last time? Oh. 
were we talking about that? I thought we weren't going to give away the game. But sure, I'll fill you in. Nothing happened. You died. I went upstairs. I couldn't leave. I found myself in a new place in chains again. More of them. And now you're back. Is that really all she knows? I think so. It's not like we have much of a clue about how things work. And she's probably even more in the dark than we are. You're looking at me like I might be hiding something. I'm not. I guess it's possible she really doesn't know anything. Maybe both of us are stuck in this loop without any idea why or how. So you've already been here. As much as I would like to remain in denial, it's no use. This has complicated things. It's complicated things how? It Ideally, this was supposed to be one and done. You go to the cabin, you heroically slay the princess, and in the process you save the entire world from being damned to oblivion. The situation right now, where you're getting a second shot at things, is a contingency. A contingency for what? For you failing, obviously. And you being here means that things are going to be a lot harder than they were. I really shouldn't say anything else, I'm just going to make it worse. Just... good luck. You know what, narrator? You're the one not telling me what I should really know. If you knew this could happen, why didn't you tell us? All of this is incredibly valuable information. It would have changed our actions considerably. You know, I like you, skeptic. I needed you to be in the dark for as long as I could keep you there. It's important. Necessary, even. And maybe I wanted to be the first version of me that you met. I didn't want to be confronted by the alternative. Alternative version of you? That's pathetic. <laughs> I never said I wasn't. I get it. It would be pretty upsetting, wouldn't it? To know that you might not be the first version of yourself. At least we can remember what happened before. Seems like we should count ourselves lucky for that. Exactly, he gets it. You're lucky. So don't waste that luck by messing it up again. Alright? Moving on. Why is it important for us to be ignorant? How is it ever helpful to be in the dark? The more I say, the more your mind will swim into dangerous waters. Even saying that is too much. Your success hinges on you having imperfect information. For the sake of the entire world, you need to accept that. I won't. Never! Fine, but you won't get another word from me on the matter. Knowledge is power! Yeah, sure. We'll see about that. Just give it a rest, this isn't helping. Focus. This is a serious situation. You shouldn't be daydreaming. Well, not really daydreaming. Talking to the voices in my head, like a, like a sane person. What would you have me do? Let me borrow that knife. Don't worry, you'll get it back. That's ominous, but she seems confident. Whatever it is she has planned, I think she knows what she's doing. Oh please, she's just putting on an act to disarm you. That much should be obvious. No. In case you need to hear a voice of reason, it would obviously be unwise to give away your only weapon. Though if she isn't bluffing, whatever she has planned might be for her benefit alone. There's no guarantee mm. that what's good for her is good for us. That's very true and wise, skeptic. So, what should we do? I don't know. Just spelling out our options, listing the right. pros and cons. Right. Logical. I like it. Then let me help you. I'll start with the cons. If you're handing her your weapon, the cons are that she might use it to escape and end the entire world. And she might use it to kill you. Yeah. That doesn't sound great. What about the pros? There are none. You don't know that. The pros are that we can't trust him. Possibly even more than we can't trust her. Right. Whatever she has planned could do something to mess with what he has planned. Or maybe they're both screwing us over in their own ways. <laughs> You're so logical. I love it. Uh, <clears throat> uh, let's see. I'm not giving you up in case you've forgotten. Uh, I can cut you out. All right. Let's, let's be a little risky. Here you go. Slide it over. Sure. No, absolutely not. I am not letting you hand your only weapon over to the world-ending princess. 
until you come up with any other idea, like, say, I don't know, doing your job and slaying her, you remain rigidly in place. You tried this last time. Do you want to know how it went for you? Oh, I remember. She killed us, which, by your estimation, ended the world, right? Oh, Rory tried to take over her body. Exactly. If I were you, I wouldn't be too keen on repeating your mistake. Hell, we could even force your hand and do it ourselves. I'm not afraid of dying again. Are you? Not even a little. A little? Oh. Okay, well you are, but I'm not. I think you got your point across. Fine. Here you go. You slide the blade across the floor. The princess maintains unsettling eye contact as she reaches down to pick it up. Thanks. Yep. She pulls up her hair, oh. smiling slightly, as she raises the blade to her throat. Uh, heads up for those who haven't seen the earlier episodes. Um, notice how she cut her hand off earlier, or I cut it off. This game gets kind of gory. It's a horror game. Horror romance, which is a fun combination. So, okay. What is she doing? Just a heads up. She doesn't say another word as she cuts into her own neck. <laughs> no. Watch an uneasy silence. Her eyes stare forward, unblinking, as she soars through skin, veins, cartilage. At last she reaches bone, the blade grinding audibly against her vertebra as it continues to slice its way through her neck. I'll be damned. She's actually doing your job for you. Why would she do that? Huh. So that's her play. Killing herself? She isn't dead yet. Finally, you hear a snap. Oh. Her eye twitches. Ugh. There's an uneasy silence. She remains motionless for a long moment, her twitching eye the only movement in the room, until at last it stops in an unsettling half-wink. Her head twists slowly to the side, flopping to her shoulder, and her neck opens. The remaining tissue is not enough to hold the weight of her severed head. It stretches and tears until finally it falls to the floor, completely free. It bounces a few times before rolling to a stop at your feet. Oh no, oh no, oh no, what did we do? Can, can we put it back? Please tell me we can put it back. The princess's eyes stare up at you, dead. Congratulations, you saved the world. Somehow, I doubt that. I hate this. Can we just get out of here now, please? Of course, the princess is slain and the world is saved. Whenever you're ready, you can proceed to your reward. Wait, did we actually do it? We should take her with us, don't you think? Yes. What? No, you shouldn't do that. Why would you do that? I can think of lots of reasons. A trophy, proof of our victory. Hell, we could even give her a proper burial. She did save the world, right? You don't need proof, you don't need a trophy, and she doesn't deserve a burial. Just leave. You're kind of a dick, narrator. Even after all that, you're still not satisfied, are you? Something is still motivating you to keep things the way you want them. I'm just eager to put this all behind us and give you your reward. Stop reading into things, the danger has passed. You can relax. Hmm... I'm just keeping myself sharp. Yeah. I'm not so eager to put my guard down. You're so smart, skeptic. I, I am. love you. I'm on team. Let's put this all behind us. So can we leave already? Take the princess with you. Ugh. Fine. You pick up the princess's severed head, its neck stump still oozing bodily fluids. Then make your way back upstairs to the first floor of the cabin. 
So there's normally three instances for each of the stories. We're only on two. What would the third be if this is the end? Did you see that? I could have sworn she moved. She didn't. She's dead. But what if she's not? Are you listening to yourself? Do I need to explain to you why decapitation is lethal? The door to your bountiful reward is right in front of you. All you have to do is open it. You open the cabin door, ready to return to a world saved from certain doom. Only a world saved from certain doom isn't what you find. Instead, what you find is... Wait, no, that's not right. Well played. Yes, you're free now. What will you do? This, this is the end of the world, isn't it? I always thought I'd at least have time to explain myself before I had to watch it happen. It's already. I know that sound. We're here already? Over? Is he gone? What? But we're still here. Maybe it wasn't the end of the world after all. Maybe it was just the end of his. Hmm. That makes sense. Thanks for carrying me up here. I had to take it on faith that you would know what to do. I'm glad I was right to trust you. Me too. I had a feeling this was your plan. So, this is the outside. Maybe it's just my lack of body, but it's colder than I expected. Colder and eldritch here. <laughs> there it is. Wow. So only two this time, huh? But you do not get the chance to respond, nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory returns. She's gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? And there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? It's gonna be okay. Just trust me. We've been here before and you always get scared. But it feels so bad. Like looking into it right now is gonna be the end of everything. You're right. Part of me wants the truth, but something stronger is holding me back. Fear. Mm, fear of change. Understandable. A natural reaction. It's not the end. Whatever is on the other side is going to be nice. Hmm. I'll see you on the other side. It's gonna be okay. Okay. If you say so, we'll trust you. Feels too good to be true. That's called imposter syndrome. It's okay. You approach the mirror. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave, but you need to see what's in it. The Unraveled. You've unraveled. We look a little... different, perhaps? You find yourself in the long quiet once again. You know, this is kind of what I wish it was like when we die in real life. Just the void. Eternal peace. No noise. You are at the cabin. Approach her. There's a world beyond the endless walls of the long quiet. We're supposed to be there. Do you know what we'll find out there? No.
There's trees and stars, and there are people, I think. At least there are supposed to be people. There is a warmth and sadness in me at the thought of people. Fresh tears on a winter's day. They are not like us. They do not last. No. They don't. Do you think anything is out there? Do you think that we're real? We are real. Nothing is an idea that dwells in the absence of something. But nothing cannot exist on its own. And because of that, nothing can't exist. Do you have thoughts on this vessel? This one is cold and cynical. She has protected herself when others could not. She will make for a clever heart. It's important. Do not mourn her. She doesn't need to be protected any longer. Living a life where you can't trust people, so you put up walls and hurt those that get inside. That's a real thing, and it's sad to see. Some people are like that. When you send me back, I'm not alone. There are voices that speak to me. Some of them are me, but one of them is something else. I call him the narrator, and he wants me to kill you. You have a narrator? Have the vessels had one? No, their thoughts are quiet. Do you think your narrator lives in the spaces beyond? I'm not sure. He does, he does, he does. Wow. He does, and when I find him, you and I are finally going to have answers. Do not look to one who fears me for your truth. The only answers worth knowing are those we can find within ourselves. You know what's going to happen when you awaken? If I did, I would already be awake. How many more vessels do you need? One. Oh. Whatever you bring me next will be enough. And then gravity will pull the others back to me. I will be singular. A final multitude. Okay. If this is the last time, is there anything you would like me to bring you? These gifts are a conversation, and each one shows me the contours of your heart. The only thing I want to see is what you choose for me when the thread is fully drawn. This game is like a personality test. It um, does all these stories and changes the princess depending on how you treat her, and then they all combine into one, I'm assuming. I'm ready to go back. Oh wait. If this is the last stage before your completion, then I'm not going back. No, change is good. Let's go. The next time I see you, each of us will finally know what we are. Yes. I will be here, waiting for you. See you then. Everything goes dark, and you die. That was cool. <laughs> okay, well. You're on a path. Shut up, narrator. Thanks and for watching. End of that path this episode is a cabin. Of Slay the Princess. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. And I'll see you in possibly the next one, which, I mean, of course I'll see you then, but it might be the last one. Having spent so long taking a break from playing this, I'm actually sad to see that it's going to be over. I'll see you in the next one.